Hey, this is Tim from InsideMT with a quick tutorial on how to embed a Google See Inside tour, a virtual tour, um, a Google Street View, sometimes they're called Google Business Views, how to embed one of these cool things, these cool interactive things on the inside of a business, how to embed that in a Facebook business page. And what you do is you create a tab, and, and this provides uh, like a landing page with this little interactive commercial right on your Facebook page. Uh, Facebook makes it a little easier to share. It's still a great tool to share on Facebook and you can share in a, from a particular view, zoom in on one thing, share that one particular thing, yum, on Facebook. Or you can embed it on a tab and that creates a, kind of a customizable landing page for you so that you can and put content around it. Uh, in this case, one of my clients that I did last year, they have this uh, cool little cafe right next right next door so they wanted to embed their virtual tour their see inside tour on their Facebook page now this is the new Google Maps and they changed quite a few to things and it doesn't have the same functionality I'm sure they're gonna build it in soon but right now this is March 2014 you're gonna have to go to this little question mark down at the bottom right of the page click on that and say return to classic Google Maps I like just to send the point. I like to say it's missing features, it's display issues, and uh, it's I like the old one better. And I don't know if they read those things, but maybe. So this is the old, um, the older Google Maps from last year. You click on that, and you come up with their see inside tour of the business. And then if you see up here at the top left, there's a link icon. You click on that, and this is one way you can share it. You can create a link and share that on Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, whatever and it actually brings you straight to that view. You can focus in on a particular thing, share that link and the the person who opens that link will, will zoom in right there and start their navigation experience right there. What we need to do is grab this iframe. So I clicked on that little button and it created this, uh, this pop-up so you can view what it's going to look like when you embed it and I like to create a nice little view, kind of stage the, the scene. I'll try the large one actually on Facebook and it'll work pretty good. And what it does is it, you want to leave these dimensions the same. That's a perspective. The, and if you change those dimensions, it'll distort the imagery a little bit. So you want to leave those dimensions the same and you can customize them here. But um, I just like to grab the large one select all that code it's an iframe code and it's all set up for you and see every time you move it it changes the code a little bit so you want to grab that code and go back to Facebook after you've copied the the iframe code you go down to your your tabs select that go over here and I already installed a app that will allow you to do an iframe put HTML in one of these tabs how you do that is you hit this little plus sign and go down find more apps and then search for an iframe or an HTML app that allows you to embed code inside one of these tabs what you'll find though is usually those apps don't have um, an icon so you'll need to make an icon and I already did that for this one you go down and hit edit settings and here it says custom tab image you hit change and I already created one you see here it the dimensions have to be really specific 111 by 74 pixels no more than a megabyte I hit choose file and I already created an icon for Stella's so okay that's good and then uh, it doesn't have a feature where you can just go back so you have to just hit uh, close that tab that it opened and then I would like to put something snappy in here like uh, check out Stella's check out Stella's oh, that's good and it okay so it created that created a name for it there then what you want to do is click on it after you've already installed the app and hit edit tab I've already thrown a little bit of code in there just to save time a little plug for my own business but I like to put a center um, tag in here to center 
the iframe. And it just makes it look a little better. And what you can do is create a little bit of content here. I'll say, um, I'm gonna do an H2. It's kind of a large heading to see how that works. And say, um, Tour Stella's in their Google See Inside Tour. Oh, not Tour, say. Check out Stella's in their Google See Inside Tour. I'm going to say also, yum. <laughs> so this looks good. I'm going to save and publish. And then hit Done Editing tab. You go back to the page. Oh, maybe I should have centered that, but I will do that in a second. And this is how the, the visitor will see this page. And you can do a lot more stuff with this. You can create, uh, um, you can put more info, you can get like directions in there, uh, you can embed all kinds of cool stuff. And we'll go back to the Best Western website and you can see it. To tab right there, check out Stella's. Check out Stella's in their in their Google See Inside Tour. Yum. See this here on this particular app, it's showing this, but any visitor will won't see this. This allows you to choose between the edit mode or just view as a, a visitor, but they'll the visitors will see it like this. Then that's how you you embed a Google See Inside tour or a virtual tour in your Facebook business page. If you need any help or you have any questions, give me a call. My name is Tim Lewis at Inside MT. My phone number is 406-697-3310. Have a great day.